Jeff, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me again. Good to have you. Hey, we we're talking about your home state here, Florida, where we're seeing a spike in condo sales. Yep. Uh, you know, we've seen since the uh, partial collapse of the building Surfside that, that killed uh, 98 people, uh, that apartment owners are now dumping a lot of units, condo units, um, that are facing six-figure assessments in order to take those older units and, and get up, up to the new code. Um, you know, some of your thoughts, just as, as we've kind of seen, you know, this kind of reshaping the Florida condo market where the, those older units are, are hitting the market at big discounts and, and really getting priced quite a bit differently than units in modern buildings. Well, I think this is kind of a, this is actually a trend I don't think a lot of people necessarily consider anyway, is that, you know, there's a lot of multifamily that's out there in some of these bigger areas and even suburban areas where you get a fractured condo and those become four rent projects, right? Um, I think there's kind of this cycle where multifamily becomes condos and condos become multifamily because it, it's just kind of a life cycle. Um, but look, the other side is it's not it, it's not uncommon to see special assessments. It's just uncommon to see, you know, six, seven figure special assessments. And, you know, you're getting, you know, four, you know, four or five figure special assessments to one condo to people who are theoretically on a fixed income. Um, that becomes you know problematic, and it, and, it, and it you'll see an uptick in people trying to sell sell units to to move past that. Hey, just a data point there, just in terms of how stark this is. Uh, it looks like units built less than thirty years ago are selling for about thirty eight percent more today than they did in twenty twenty. Units thirty years or older are now going for twelve percent less. That, that's a pretty huge delta. I mean, and it really does seem that you know this one event you know, driving those big six figure assessments you're talking about, it did have a pretty big driver on this. Yeah. I mean, I think the other side too, is when you start weighing the, the composition of, of cost uh, in re, in relation to condos and if they're skyscrapers or if they're a garden style, if they're stick build, if they're cement build, you know, poured cement, you know, the, those costs, especially on the side of skyscrapers and otherwise go through the roof really quickly because it becomes very specialized. Whereas, you know, a lot of those stick built type projects um, aren't as uh, labor intensive to to repair if they need repairs. Yeah, and I think it also goes to just how important it is to model CapEx and to really understand um, a property because you're, you're looking at a situation here where you can have two condo buildings next door to each other and one's got those older building codes and it's now worth less than it was. The other one's got those newer building codes, more modern, more up to date, even if the newer one was more expensive, the price was justified um, because now it's not looking at those special assessments and reconstruction. So, so sometimes it's not just all about price or even price per square foot. Sometimes you really got to dig into um, the building and the CapEx around improvements and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I think to add to that, I don't think people always consider, um, you know, municipal costs. And when I say municipal costs, I mean, you know, fire inspections come in saying, well, what was good before, you know, is, is no longer good. We may have approved you before, but now we, we're, we're finding deficiencies and those deficiencies can add up very quickly and aren't cheap to fix because they're specialized. Yeah, I, I think it does go to, you, you really wanna know what you're doing. Um, you, yeah. you really wanna have a certain amount of expertise. Um, and that's not just commercial, that, that can be in residential um, where you can yeah. run into two issues like this. I right, appreciate your insights, Jeff, thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve.